The DF500 Domino Joiner is used to make sturdy joins quickly and has a range of accessories to make normal time consuming applications faster and easier. In this guide we'll take a look at the different features, setup and system accessories. The power switch for the Domino Joiner locks into the on position when activated. To turn the joiner off, press down on the back of the power switch to release the latch. The Domino Joiner is intended to be used with a dust extraction system. Using the machine without dust extraction will cause it to clog with wood chips. When installing a Festool 27mm dust extraction hose, fit it over the bayonet fitting on the tool. The Clearview window has a centre position indicator to assist cut alignment when referencing off marks. The window also has measurements on it to assist when aligning the trim stop accessory for width. The window is also adjustable if centre of cut requires realignment. When wanting to reference the centre of a cut, it can be checked with a scribe mark on the plate. This can help with alignment of angle cut positions when needing to check distances and depths of cut for domino choice. Some joints require the fence to be set in an angle from the mortising bit. Loosen the fence angle locking lever by rotating it anti-clockwise. Rotate the fence to the desired angle and tighten the locking lever. The fence has detent stops at 22.5, 45, 67.5 and, and 90 degrees. Use the gauge pointer for setting the fence to angles other than the ones with the detent. For greater stability, the locking lever clamps down on both right and left hand sides of the fence. The height of the fence needs to be set for height depending on the type of joint being made and the thickness of material being used. There are two options available for setting the fence height. The height gauge and the board thickness gauge. When using the height gauge, the measurements represent the centre of cutter. To use the height gauge, make sure the board thickness gauge is retracted out of the way. Raise or lower the fence until the pointer indicator is set to the desired height measurement on the gauge. Then the locking lever can be tightened. The board thickness gauge represents the actual thickness of material being used and will position the cutter to half the thickness. There are height settings for 16, 20, 22, 25, 28, 36 and 40 mm board thicknesses. To use the board thickness setting, raise the fence so it clears the gauge. Slide the gauge in or out until the thickness of the workpiece is shown in the window. Lower the fence down until it touches the gauge, then tighten the locking lever. The mortising depth determines how deep into the workpiece the mortising bit cuts. This needs to be adjusted for different sized tenons. In most cases the tenon should be centred across the joint and the depth of the mortise should be half the length of the tenon. For a 5 by 30 mil domino, the plunge depth would be set at 15 mil to span evenly in each piece. In the case of needing to use offsets, for example, using a 40 mil domino in 18 mil material, the setting would be 12 mil into the 18 mil side of the board, and the remaining length of the domino would be cut into the longer side of the join at 28 mil. To adjust the mortise depth, press in on the depth adjustment lock. Move the depth adjustment lever to the step position of the desired depth. Release the depth adjustment lock. The width of the mortise slot can be increased to permit some side to side flexibility in the tenon position. An example of this is when making consecutive cuts with a cross stop or when wanting to apply two dominoes to a join but to keep some flexibility when not having side reference points. The mortise width dial has three positions. In the standard, the smallest position, the domino tenon will fit snugly into the mortise slot. In the middle position, the mortise slot will be 6mm wider. And in the widest position, the mortise slot will be 10mm wider than the domino tenon. 
Different mortising bits are available for a variety of different domino tenon sizes. The DF500 comes equipped with a 5mm bit and 4, 6, 8 and 10mm bits are available as an option. To change the mortising bit, use the provided 8mm wrench, pry up the fence body release lever and slide the fence body off the motor housing. Press and hold the spindle lock button. This stops the spindle from turning while you loosen the mortising bit. Loosen the mortising bit by turning it counterclockwise. This is a standard right hand thread. Insert the new mortising bit and start the thread by hand to avoid any cross threading. Press in on the spindle lock while tightening the bit. Do not over tighten the bit. Carefully reinstall the fence body onto the motor housing and push the fence body in until the latch clicks. On the front of the fence, a pair of edge stops of the joiner are used to register the tool against the edge of the workpiece and provide quick and precise placement of the tool on the workpiece. The distance between the locating pins and the centre of the mortar slot is 37mm. When the locating pin is against the edge of the workpiece, the edge of the workpiece will be visible in the centre of the triangular window on the top of the fence. The edge stops can be locked in their attractive position so they don't push the fence away from the workpiece when not being used. To retract the stops, raise the fence to expose the stop limit position screw. Press the stop into its retractor position and gently tighten the screw using a 2mm hex key. Take care to avoid over tightening the set screws any more than necessary to keep the stop retracted. The base support bracket stabilises the joiner when cutting in certain situations where there is minimal main table support. The base support brackets mounts to the underside of the joiner with two thumb screws. Before tightening the thumb screws, check to make sure the face of the support bracket is flush with the face of the joiner. The base support bracket includes integrated index stops, providing accurate reference points for mortising near the edge of a workpiece. This feature is particularly useful for narrow workpieces. When using the flip stops, the centre of the cut is 20mm from the edge versus 37mm without. The optional trim stop is used to securely hold small workpieces for cutting mortises and gives the benefit of repeatability when working with thinner materials. With the fence sitting flat, slide the trim stop over the fence of the domino joiner. Make sure the trim stop is fully seated onto the domino's fence. Slide the two locking latches inward, tighten the two thumb screws. The optional cross stops extend the position of the locating pins for consistent, repeatable domino spacing. This is a benefit when working with longer lengths of materials and needing to mirror the domino positions on both surfaces for joining. Loosen the clamping knob on the adjustable locating pin and slide the pin to the desired measurement. Before tightening the clamping knob, make sure both measurements on the cross stops are accurate to the same measurement. Insert the cross stop into the slot. Turn the locking lever towards the rear to lock the cross stop to the base of the domino. The cross stop pin can now be used to register a mortise from the edge of the previous mortise. There is also an optional round stop attachment that enables these materials to be securely positioned for domino mortising. To keep yourself updated on festival product information and applications, subscribe to our channel below.